Welcome to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for the Fascist USA. Okay, we're not fascist yet, but that's our goal. And I'm just going to go ahead and start this while I'm talking and explain to you what I did. First, let me tell you, if you watch the Italy campaign, you know how aggravated I was at my allies constantly taking the land that I had won well I swore that I was going to do either the United States or Russia since they have the two greatest manpower and it was going to be an effort to conquer the entire world well I decided on the USA and to turn it fascist because well I live in the USA deal with it and we have to get up enough political power so that we can start with the advisors. And I'm trying to decide whether I should do Taft for the power gain or go straight to Coughlin and try to get fascism on the rise as soon as possible. I'll probably go Coughlin, then Taft. See, my problem here is our focus. If you look right here, <clears throat> we get two a base power uh, value of two a day. We're on uh, normal mode now. This is the first playthrough at normal mode. Our political power changes only one a day because of the Great Depression. So we lose a whole point of base power. And then our national focuses. We will not be able to get the sixth research slot because to get Manifest Destiny, we have to get both Office of Strategic Services and the Rubber Reserve. But to get the Rubber Reserve, we have to be Democratic and we have to be in the war already. So I don't want to be in the war. I don't want to be part of an alliance I want to form my own alliance so we're not going to be able to get the sixth research slot the only other ones that I looked over the slots that will be affected by the fact we're going fascist are the war plans um, some of the plans here we go current ruling party to attack, to go war plan red which is to attack the UK we would have to be fat, a communist unholy alliance with the Soviet Union we would have to be fascist and then the other two to basically go to war with uh, Germany or Japan we can be democratic but since we're going to be fascist I'm not worried about that. Now, <clears throat> what did I do? Uh, I organized all of our fleets. I sent some of the fleets out. I kept the main capital ships in port. I altered the fleets into formations I like. I sent the destroyers and subs out. The destroyers out on escort missions, the subs on convoy raiding. I moved them out to the limits of their range. I did not put the destroyers in with the capital ships because the destroyers have such a horrible range. I organized all of our divisions into two armies. The first army is in the mainland U.S. The second army is all of the outlying areas. Uh, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Panama. If, did I remember? Yes, I did. Panama is in there. And, of course, the islands in the Pacific. Uh, construction. I just set us up with a bunch of civilian factories until our... I won't know whether we're going to have to deal with a coup, a civil war, or what. So I'm just building civilian factories until then because 
I've never done a civil war before, so I'm not sure how that will react. Whether uh, the divisions we own will be split in two, or n new divisions will pop up. I do not know. I do know, however, we have manpower limitations because of the Great Depression. <clears throat> so, I'm not recruiting anything. Uh, our production... I just increased infantry equipment, support equipment, towed artillery based on our deficit, and I added a carrier naval bomber because I want to build a stockpile. Our ships, I did what I traditionally do. I increased our production of subs a few, and our destroyers I put, put up to the max. I should have doubled that, maybe tripled it. And of course I added convoys. Our logistics is ugly when it comes to infantry equipment. Down 21,000 deficit. So yes, we have definitely neglected our military during the Great Depression. Um... I believe that is it. I believe you are up to date. So let's jump this up a little bit to four. It'll go fast, but there's nothing going on. So we won't be missing much. We got a good five months before we will have enough political power to start working towards fascism or to increase our political power by 15 percent. I only wish I knew whether that would bring us to 2.3 or 1.15 political power. I'm probably going to go fascist just because the Oh, I've already screwed up. If I would have went WPA, we would have got the political power we needed almost immediately. I can still do that next. There'll be no loss. In fact, I could still do it now. Let's go ahead and do that. We won't lose that much time because we bank a certain amount. Oh, we only bank... 10 days. Hmm. It's not 30 like research. Oh, and research. Yes, yes, yes. Basic machine tools, electronics, to, uh, basic machine tools to increase our uh, product of production efficiency gap. Uh, electronic mecha electric mechanical engineering to lower our research time, construction to lower our construction time, and uh, support equipment because we didn't even have 1918 support equipment. And we're running at a four. And it's already been almost ten minutes. Of course, uh, I did keep it only at a two while I was uh, explaining what had been done. Because I didn't want events popping up. Also, I'm going to be doing something different because of a problem I had with YouTube demonetizing one of the Italy campaign videos. They demonetized it because when I nuked North Carolina, Tennessee, and Alabama, it caused them concerns over terrorism. Now, at this point in time that I started recording this, that cont me contesting it is under review. So I do not know how it will turn out. So instead of giving a basic overview of what happens in every episode, I will just talk about the purpose of this playlist in general. And that will just repeat. I apologize if you liked these summaries of what happened but uh, with all the drama that's been happening with YouTube I decided to skip it well Italy won the war against Ethiopia to be expected 
and we have electric engineering since it's 36 we'll go on to the next one computing also I did we're sh having a deficit of two rubber I did not go after that two rubber I could I have the production to spare when you construction when you look at I have two full 15s run in and five of another 15 so I have plenty to spare but why mess with it you see our power change is zero since I instituted uh, the national focus now the question becomes oh well the national focus is almost up so I'll wait the question becomes is there another 150 laying around because I need to increase our power immediately let's get the fascist going immediately first Coughlin fascist demagogue oh wait a minute now what does this say uh, the higher-ups may harbor unspoken sympathies the younger ge generation Increase the chance of popular support for a fascist coup. Internal support for a fascist coup. Mm. I don't want to lose. I don't want our military divided. So I will deal with the younger generation. Uh, is there another 150? Maybe down here, maybe reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine? No. I am not going to I am not going to start another national focus until I have the power increased so that we'll at least gain a percentage of power so now we have to wait isn't this great fun waiting uh, four days before we get some research done I'll put back basic machine tools and bars done and the Spanish Civil War has started <clears throat> put Patton in charge of the domestic army all right this was our machine tools obviously we're gonna go concentrated industry trucks that will unlock a bunch of they'll unlock I'm trying to remember what it's called our companies our support companies it will unlock field hospital and logistics two very important units for any division exporting quite a bit of steel that's actually impressive 736 of course I think we're set for free trade yes 80% of resources are automatically available to the uh, market Until we get out of the Great Depression, it's going to be a balancing act. Let me put MacArthur in charge of the other army before I forget. Since it is the Pacific and he is stationed out there, I won't turn around and boot his ass yet. Unless he chooses the wrong side. Then I might boot his ass. I don't want a coup. 
I don't want to split our military. I think the only choices I will have, I, I'd like a peaceful transition. But I think I'm going to end up with the situation where I'm going to lose some national unity to accomplish this. And national unity is right there, 60%. I think I'm gonna end up with having to lose national unity. And excavation and increase our raw materials. Even though we are way ahead right now. There's not much that we can do at this time. I should probably pop it up to five. I think I will. There you go. That's some insane speed right there. Seems about almost every second is a day. Purges. Anytime something happens, I'll go ahead and drop it down. Stalin has started his purges. We're six days out from 150. Boring start, I know. Now, I will not be taking on any allies whatsoever. I will be starting my own alliance. Now we can go for power. Where? There it is. Robert Taft, political power gain. Now we can choose a national focus. Olympic Games. Air experience. There's nothing for the army that gives me army experience. Electronics and support technology for support artillery and support technology. Reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. And now it slows down. Good, plus three. So we're still gaining a little something. Not much. Which will leave us behind in our advisors until we get out of the Great Depression. So I'm going to have to be balancing my need for political power with my desire for the national focuses, focus bonuses. already burnt through many we still have some to spare um, everything uh, carriers are twos will build Yorktown class Four of them scheduled. U.S. Navy Group, one. I'll send them two. Let's set our planes. We got them perfect. Naval bomber and fighter, 28 each. Let's build another heavy cruiser. We 
for short chromium? Really? And Hitler moves into the Rhineland. Everyone is militarizing, except for us. Of course, we only have 75,000 manpower. Even our monthly growth is pathetic. Recruitable population growth, 771. No comment. No comment at all. <clears throat> We do have plenty of factories, though, so there's that to look forward to. Our fascist growth is already at 18%, so... We reaffirmed the Monroe Doctrine. don't want to do any of this because I'm wondering those give us political power though I'm wondering if we become fascist wow that was loud fascist in government Change of popularity of fascists, ten percent. Obviously, we want to encourage fascism. And we got three research slots open. Let's go on down to here. We can't really go anywhere else, but we do need synthetic oil for the rubber. Electronics. We'll go after the radar. A radio. Radio leads to radar. Now, what over here? We're not near 38. If public support is sufficient, a coup can be executed. Go after field hospital. I believe that is extra important. And now back to the national focus. Our extra research slot is dependent upon world tension. 75% before we can go after it. That's rough. Let's go after Bureau of Ships. It lowers the production cost, and ships are such a long-term investment. That's the one thing I'm not skimping on. Let's look at our construction. How are we doing? Excavation. It's, not, it's almost 37. Let's wait for 37. Uh, let's just go ahead and start it. Construction 2. What is our fascist support now? 32% and rising. I 
I didn't see the, the notice of uh, Roosevelt reelected. It happens in thirty six. Must have been overridden by the uh, fascist support. As I said, I do want to avoid a coup. want to avoid any internal bloodshed because that will only weaken us. And that is one thing I do not want to do because as soon as we go fascist, I want to attack something. Start taking over countries. Start setting up puppet regimes. Still 12,000 in the hole on infantry equipment. But we're ahead on artillery. Our deficit on support equipment is not too bad. Let's get these troops training. I have faith in Patton. I don't want there to be a government in exile. That's the main reason why I want to avoid a coup. I want to avoid any internal conflict. Thirty-eight days to radio. We should set up some more construction. up we got the Bureau of Ships let's up a few ports okay more than a few I'm sorry dockyards not ports go carrier primacy or battleship primacy let's go airplanes air war plans division One thing about the way I play, I don't like to go on to the next level until I can have uh, improved the equipment with the designer. What's our support at now? 34% and rising. wondering if it's a mistake to be training the troops now that I think about it. I'm going to go after radar. Will be helpful. And we're going to have to stop it right there because we're at 30 minutes. So thank you very much guys. You know the drill subscribe give me a thumbs up please and of course leave your comments down below the good the bad the ugly all is appreciated because this fascist country loves free speech so until i see y'all next time